everyone, welcome back. It's Gordon from Just Cuts again. We're going to be looking at something a bit more unusual this time with the Just Cuts A4 die cutting system. So here we have our lovely fresh machine again in two-tone pastel blue and pastel green. This time we're going to be using something that will cost you nothing. So what we're going to be using, we're going to be using leaves. These are real leaves, they've just come off a tree outside our premises here. They're not plastic leaves, they're not made of paper, card. These are real leaves off a tree. So what we're going to be doing is showing you how to make a wonderful background using Distress Ink, which I'm going to use here, and real leaves. Okay, so the first thing we're going, we have to do is we have to ink our leaves up. So we'll take a couple of leaves. In fact, tell you what, we'll start with some small leaves. We'll start with the small ones first. Here we are. We'll arrange them here on top of a white piece of card because we don't want the ink going onto any of our mats. The first colour we will work with, I think, we'll use the green. So I'm using a green distress pad. And all we have to do is coat the back of the leaf. Now we're doing the back of the leaf because that's where the veins and things are on the leaf. So this takes a bit of time to do. Just take your time. Gently go over the leaf like this, every little bit. There we are. I think you can see that the colour is now being applied to the back of the leaf. So we've finished that one. When you've finished it, take it, lay it down on a piece of paper where we're going to create the background. Okay, we'll just keep going. We're going to do a few leaves. So we'll just coat this one as well. I say I'm using a, a green and I'm using a brown. Uh, distress ink pad. That's the second one. We'll just put that one on there like that. Okay, let's take a third one. Here we go again. So again, we're just covering the back of the leaf in the distress ink. Okay, there we are. Just keep going. Let's arrange that one on there. A few more. Let's go again. So let's just cover this one. Here we go bit more ink on there. Okay, that one's done. Let's position this leaf round about there. Just keep going. You can use as many leaves as you want or as little as you want. You can mix leaves from different plants and different trees. It's entirely up to you. But give the leaves a good coating because we want all this to come out in great detail on our piece of card. So we'll take another one here. Okay, again, using the green distress ink pad. There we are. Now that's probably enough to be honest, so we'll do that there. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to take some larger leaves this time. Uh, we're going to use the other colour. I have a brown distress ink pad here. So let's just go over the back of this leaf again, like this. Here we are, let's just do the other side. You can take your time about this, there's no rush really. The more ink you put on the leaf, the better the results. So we'll just go over every little bit. There we are. Now this one, I think what we'll do with this one is we'll sort of layer it on top like that. And we'll take another one and we will do the same again. We'll go over with the distress ink pad. There we are. Take your time. Put lots of ink onto the back of the leaf. Okay. A bit more um, and I stress again these are real leaves we'll just put that one on there like that there we are I think you can see that now I could keep going with more and more leaves in fact I tell you what I have two more leaves here so why not let's just finish off no point rushing okay so a bit more ink onto the back of this smaller leaf here okay like that let's find the gap now we can put that one on there and last but not least, here we go, put some more ink on this leaf. Now every time you do this your results will vary. I have no idea really what's going to happen in a second but uh, hopefully we should get some interesting results. The results will vary depending on the types of leaves, depending on the amount of ink you use. I say really it's all in your hand. Okay, there we are. That piece there we just used as a background, so we'll now discard that, we finished with that. So what we have is the white base plate for the machine, the white piece of card with some leaves arranged. 
so that the ink side is down onto the card. We've just done all that. Uh, the other thing is we're now going to put the embossing mat on top. But before we do that, I suggest you put another piece of card on top to prevent any ink staining the embossing mat, okay? We don't want to damage any of the things that come with your machine. You don't want to discolour your embossing mat because of the distress ink. So I suggest you put another piece of card on top like that. Then on top of that we have the tan embossing mat. And on top of that we have our clear cutting plate. So let me just make sure you know what we're doing. We have the thick white base plate. We have our piece of card with the leaves down onto the card, ink side down. We have another piece of card on top to protect the tan embossing mat. We then have the tan embossing mat and the clear cutting plate. The setting on the machine is number seven and all we have to do is go through the machine once. So off we go, all the way through to the other side. Okay, I'll bring this back here so you can see the results. We will take off the clear plate and the tan embossing mat. Okay, let's remove the top piece of card which is protecting everything. There you can see the leaves are already starting to come off. We'll just peel these off gently. Here we go. Here we go. And a bit more, this one here. There we are. Just take these ones off. And this one here. And last but not least, this one here. Now obviously you would leave this to dry, but you can see the desired results. Uh, we've used one type of leaf, we've used two different colours of distress ink. You can take as, you can a bit longer about this to make it even more imaginative. You can use different types of leaves from any plant, any tree you have in the garden to create the most wonderful results. Uh, we'll be coming back to something similar a bit later in another video.